Uh, welcome to the last video of the series everyone. Uh, the model's completely finished. Uh, sorry it's been a while. Uh, the reason for that is uh, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for a flat coat for this that can um, go on top of the Humbrol. Uh, and unfortunately they can't post it to me for uh, shipping concerns. I guess some legal, legal stuff involving aerosol paints and things. So unfortunately the model is still glossy and uh, I really just needed to get this video out of the way because there's other videos I need to get to. Uh, the model's just sitting on my kitchen counter at the moment. Uh, my workbench is covered with uh, the Reliant and my other project, which I, uh, you'll be seeing a bit of soon. I really, really like how this one came out. Uh, that weathering is really cool. I'm a big fan of it. The kit itself is a really old kit. As I've said, uh, there were a few fit issues, and I'm, that might be due to the age. Uh, the decals on this were really, really thick, and uh, which necessitated a lot of glossing, especially on this this area, uh, just to sort of flatten everything down a bit. I really wish I could have shown you the model. Uh, with a flat coat on, but it looks like it's not going to happen for a while. But that's okay, you can still get a feel for how, how it looks. Um, I really like the, uh, the green colour that I ended up with on the bottom. Uh, and I really think I... Uh, chose the right accent colour for the darks, dark areas and the weathering. Not much to say really, I mean other than it's, it's finished. And, uh, it's been sitting like this for quite a while on my, uh, on my shelf. There's the bottom. Really cool 60s green kind of colour. Um, I definitely would build the kit again. Uh, although next time I'll uh, be using my uh, Tamiya acrylic gloss. Well, they're not acrylics, they're synthetic lacquers actually. I'll be using those next time, I think, and avoiding all this trouble with the, the Humbrol brand. Ironically, the whole point of this project was to test out Humbrol Acrylic Gloss Clear, uh, the brushable self-leveling stuff, because I really wanted uh, an alternative to um, using Tamiya synthetic lacquers. And ironically, the whole thing just made me go back to those, to the lacquers, and uh, it sort of made me appreciate them a bit more. I mean, the fact that I just can't get the flat coat for the gloss varnish is a real pain in the butt. Um, so I've gone back to using the uh, the synthetic lacquers on my Reliant, which I'm decaling at the moment, and they're just. I'm not having a single problem with them at the moment, funnily enough. Uh, so I guess this project like fulfilled the requirements, it, it showed me the way. Uh, it's always good to test out new methods, new ways of doing things, that's how you grow as a model builder or an artist. Uh, that's This is actually one big problem I had with the model. Uh, I don't know if I've actually showed it in previous videos, but the neck is bow, and that's really unfortunate. Um, really unfortunate. I've noticed uh, it's likely a problem with the tooling and not my particular model, because I've seen other modelers who have had who've just got the same issue. Uh, so I'll remember that for next time. Another thing I wanted to bring up really quickly was the angle of the nacelle pylons. I do have an original release of the model, and I guess round two, in uh, reissuing the kit, 
they changed the alignment tabs and in doing so changed the angle so it's no longer accurate uh, the angle of these nacelles is more reminiscent of the 1 to 1000 scale polar lights D7 kit which they're a lot flatter on the original release they have a, 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 a crazier angle to them and um, I guess what I'll do at the end of the video is actually show you because I have a an original release of the model which I uh, uh, made years ago which I, I really didn't get too far with um, I think that's just about it I'll put some pictures at the tail end of this and uh, that'll complete the build series Thanks for watching.